He looked at me as if to say, Hurry, boy, she's waiting there for you! Welcome back, everybody. It's me, Gator the Legend. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm just a little bit irritated. I'm just a little bit upset. I'm just a little bit pissed off. You know, sometimes comedy feels dead. Comedy just doesn't seem to be what it used to be. And it's something I'm noticing more and more every day as I post all these shorts. I mean, it could be something as simple as comparing an old saying like the pot calling the kettle black to how racist old Disney movies used to be, and somehow, to some people, that automatically means that I'm some kind of Biden-supporting liberal. As if! Or you could post just a short of me doing like a Biden impersonation, making fun of how lost he gets in conversation, and then just kind of gives up in the middle of a sentence and walks away. And to some people, that makes me some kind of Trump-supporting conservative. As if! You know, comedy didn't always have all these crazy rules they have today, you know? You were able to just make jokes, you know? Some would land and some wouldn't. People didn't, like, cast judgment based on the subject matter alone, you know? Instead, they based their judgment on the comedic value of the joke itself. Even when you would joke about politics or certain politicians, people didn't automatically put you into some kind of box, you know? You shouldn't just box things up like that, you know? They didn't automatically assume everything about you. They put labels all over you, you know? Call you one thing or another. You know, maybe I'm a bit ambiguous. You know, like an amoeba, just transforming all the time into hopefully something better. Society seems so on edge now, you know? We're, we're so afraid of those we disagree with that the moment someone comes across to have different views than us, we go into attack mode. We lash out at them. You might say, hey, Gator, politics in the state of our country is nothing to joke about right now. You know, we need to tread lightly and make sure that we don't do anything that shows support to the other side. And that's fine. It's absolutely fine that you feel that way. Unfortunately, though, you're missing the entire point of comedy. Comedians shouldn't have to fit into your world views. They shouldn't have to conform to what society thinks they should be and say what society thinks that they should say. Comedy is supposed to be the truest form of free speech that there is, and comedians should be applauded for pushing the boundaries, not chastised. And you should feel offended, and you should laugh when you do. Look, I get it. The world's scary, and it, you know, it can feel hopeless sometimes. But that's why comedy is so vital. We need comedy. And comedy can only survive if we give it the freedom that it deserves. If you can't put your convictions to the side, then don't participate. It's that simple. Next time you watch a comedian or read a satirical joke, remember it's not personal. It's comedy. I want to thank each and every one of my Gator Knights for joining me today. I know I've been gone for a while. I'm not dumb. I'm not naive. I know. I know. I've had important things going on, you know. I'm running the world from behind the scenes, and you're welcome for that. But I do want to say, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for coming. And as always, I've been Gator the Legend, and you've been great.